What's going on? Vital Syntax here, and this is the start of a new series of videos that's going to go over all the different mech classes that are found in Hawken. In these tutorial like videos, I'm going to go over a bunch of different information about these mechs, the items and weaponry that you can use with them, and customization options that you have, as well as give you guys uh, mech suggestions for certain play styles, and also go over some tips and tricks that pertain to each mech. The first mech we're going to go over is the CRT Recruit which is also called Fred or the Recruit Assault Mech. And it, they recently just changed it from Recruit Assault to CRT Recruit to clear up any confusion between the Recruit Assault and the Normal Assault. But essentially that's the same thing. I might use some of those different names interchangeably. Now this is the mech you're going to start the game out with. And until you either get enough points by playing the game long enough to buy a new mech or spend real money to buy a mech, this is the mech you're going to be using. And this is the mech that almost the majority of people are using, and not necessarily just because it's the one you start out with, but also because it's one of the best mechs you can get. The Recruit Assault is a medium mech when it comes to size and speed, and there's three different classes in this area. You have the light mechs, the medium mechs, and the heavy mechs. And this pertains to everything from the speed of your mech, the amount of health you have, and the amount of damage you can have, take, and also the amount of fuel it takes to move it around, and how long you can use that fuel before it depletes. Each mech has a special or unique ability that is specific to that class. So for the Recruit Assault, that special ability is a coolant, and it's the same uh, special ability that the normal Assault class has. And what this coolant allows you to do is reduce the heat of your mech to prevent you from overheating. So in this game, whenever you use weaponry, you will build up heat, and you can see that heat temperature in the middle of your screen on the left and right side of your crosshairs. And whenever that gets to red, it'll start flashing and telling you that you're about to overheat. And if you do overheat, then that means that you're not going to be able to use any of your weaponry until it cools down. And that is a bad situation to be in because you're completely exposed to enemy incoming fire and you can't really do anything about it. Now, with the coolant, what you can do is before you overheat, you can deploy that coolant with F, which is the default key for any special ability, and it will prevent you from overheating. It will reduce the heat buildup of your mech by quite a bit, and it's a really useful uh, special ability if you're in the middle of a gunfight. Okay, let's move on to some of the items and weaponry that you can use with this mech. At the beginning, you're going to start out with the assault rifle for your primary weapon. Now, you can actually change this primary weapon by leveling up your mech and getting enough in-game points or using real money to purchase either the submachine gun or the Vulcan, which is a Gatling type of weapon. And the assault rifle is kind of the best all around and definitely the best at longer ranges. The submachine gun's a little bit better at closer ranges and the Vulcan is the best at close range. But the Vulcan's downside is that it has very bad accuracy, so at longer ranges it's really not going to do much. And it also has a startup timer where the, um, the barrel of the machine gun will actually spin up for a second, so you can't just stop shooting and start shooting instantly. There's a little bit of a timer. I think that the uh, assault rifle is probably the best way to go, and it's really nice that with the recruit assault you start out with the assault rifle. If you use the purchasable assault mech instead of the one that you're actually given at the beginning, you actually have to wait till you're level 25 with that mech to use this assault rifle, so it's really nice to start out with this thing. For the secondary, you're going to be using the Tau missile. Now this isn't something that you can change or customize like you could with the primary weapon. The secondary weapon of any mech is always locked in and that kind of gives each mech a unique look and feel uh, and strategy that's involved with using that mech. So the Tau is one of the best and most most powerful weapons in the game if you can use it properly. And a whole lot of people that I see playing this game don't use it to its full potential. So you can actually detonate the Tau missile before it hits a surface. And if you miss your target either because you're just not accurate enough or your aim was a little bit off, you can still just click again or press middle mouse button, either one and it'll actually detonate it, and you want to detonate it when it's close to an enemy, maybe it just goes right to their left or to their right, you can still detonate it and do splash damage to them. And the splash damage is actually quite a bit of damage. When you're using the Tau missile, getting a direct impact is your best option, but it's not always a practical option, unless you're a really good player and you have great aim. So you, what you want to do instead is at least try and hit them and do splash damage by using the surfaces to your advantage. This can be a wall that they've backed themselves into, it can be the ground underneath their feet, or it can even be the ceiling above them if they're hovering and flying around and they're close to the ceiling. So what you want to do is try and get some altitude, try and get some uh, space between you and them that you have the high ground, that way you can shoot it down on them, wait for them to land if they're in the air, and try and time it so that 
you sh you're shooting it when they're on their way down, not when they're on their way up, obviously, because if they're on their way up, the splash damage is going to be either non-existent or very minimal. So beyond the primary and secondary weapon, there's also a couple different items you can use to customize your mech. So if you've got an offensive item and a support item. Now, in my opinion, the best two offensive items are the high explosive charge, which is essentially a grenade, and the EMP. Now, the EMP can be countermeasured. There's an item that you can equip on your mech to basically recharge your uh, mech and reboot it after it's been shut down by an EMP. But most people don't know how to use uh, those countermeasures yet. So right now the EMP is really powerful um, and I would I would suggest using that one even over the grenade. But the grenade is also a great option as well and that's the one I'm using in this video, especially if you can get a direct impact with it. Another thing to note about the Recruit Assault is by default it actually has more health than the normal Assault. The Recruit has 709 while the normal Assault has 675, so that's a pretty big difference and you're going to get a little bit of an advantage as far as health goes, even versus the one you have to buy with uh, in-game cash. Another cool advantage of using the Recruit Assault is that it has internal upgrades that do not have downsides. So later on when you're using other mechs you can buy upgrades for your internals that will have positives and negatives. Things like increasing fire rate but increase the speed at which you overheat. But with the Recruit Assault there's actually upgrades, internal upgrades that don't have downsides and it's the only mech that at least that I know of that has this cool ability to it. So just for review, some tips that you can deploy while using this mech are control the detonation of your TAL missile, use surfaces and splash damage to your advantage while using the TAL missile, and also use your ability, the cooldown, whenever you're in a overheating situation. So if you're on the other end of the stick and somebody's attacking you with the recruit assault mech or just even the normal assault mech, what can you do to counter it and outshoot it and kill it? Well, there's a couple things you can do. The first thing is stay in the air, either bunny hop or use your thrusters to avoid landing and stay off the ground because if they don't have the, the surface that you're standing on to use against you as splash damage, you're going to have a little bit of an advantage because that towel missile is not going to be able to use, they're not going to be able to use it to its full advantage. Next thing is also time your dodges because the towel missile takes a couple seconds to reload. If you see that they're shooting a towel missile, try and get the timing right so that you can dodge the next one and at least wait until um, you know that missile is going to start incoming or you, you know you see it incoming to, to actually dodge because if you dodge and then they shoot it obviously you're going to get hit. And then that last thing is try and uh, avoid walls. Don't back yourself away into a corner because it's going to be a really easy shot for him. Anyway that wraps up my recruit assault review for Hawken. If you guys enjoyed the video feel free to give me a like or a favorite and send this video to your friends if they're having trouble with uh, Hawken or any of these mechs. Subscribe for the future mech reviews and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.